enough. We got two calves to process. We're gonna tag them and give them a shot and weigh them, do the things that we do for every newborn. And I remembered last night when I was not sleeping that uh, the bale feeder over there needs a little fixing. One side got broke out. Hopefully we can find some materials to patch it up. Lots of little things like that today, plus keeping an eye on our cows and heifers. Oh, you don't like us. Oh, don't do it. No. What the heck? That's a big guy. You moved. Oh, come on, fella. He's lighting. Ow! Caught me in the chin. Like Lizzo would say, she's got her hair done, checked her nails. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the pasture we call the bow place. Once that smaller pen over on the farm gets full, we're gonna start putting them out here. You can see there's trees around, so they got a lot of, um, they got a lot of shelter and whatnot. And this is the bale feeder that they have, which is in kind of rough shape. I'm not sure exactly what dad wants me to fix on it. Yeah, it looks like this snapped right here. And so we're gonna air up the tires and bring it home and I guess I'm gonna weld on it and try not to start that old hay on fire. I can't believe this tire's taking air. Look how cracked it is. The rim is all rusted. Good thing we only gotta drive about a mile. All the tires are aired up. Unfortunately, our pin was too big. Wouldn't fit in the hole. So we're gonna have to use these pliers. You think it'll hold? Broke a brand new pin, beating it with a rock, trying to get it in. Now nah, it's farming. to be across the top here helping hold the bale in and also there's probably a lot of waste from these giant holes so the bale can fall through right here you can see there's a cattle stockade panel that's holding that feed in so we'll probably cut um, cut another cattle panel run it through here just so there's a little less waste and then weld this up and weld that up What do you think, Dad? You guys ever notice who the real talent is around here? I'm just a circus monkey on a unicycle. <laughs> so I, I got a decent weld on that bottom. The top looks horrid. Couldn't, there's too big of a gap up top here, but I think that weld on the bottom should hold pretty well. And now it's lunchtime, and we're gonna go in, come back out, and what do we got going on? You're finishing up greasing the... Yeah, I need you to turn the shaft while I watch those okay. two joints. And then what else we got? <clears throat> um, you're gonna drag the yard, I'm gonna grease that spreader. We gotta unhook that snowblower for Robbie. Okay. Found two random bars that'll fit nicely in here. One here, one over here. And then I'll weld them up and we'll be pretty much done with this and on to the next thing. gonna lay in another stockade panel just so hay doesn't fall out and waste it. But besides that, we got this piece of junk all fixed up and she's ready to go. This is one of those He-Man moments. You ready for it? You know what they say about the camera? 
10 pounds. They were wrong. Yeah, one well, was the real one. Oh, it was like 25. 25. When we got this pile of crushed rock, Dad was piling it up, and he piled it on the drag that I made for our yard, and it's right here, and we're trying to dry out the yard a bit, and so we gotta grab that drag, and it's under like 20 tons of rock. the drag's a little much for the tractor at least going uphill in mud I killed it right there but we spread this water around which will hopefully help dry out our uh, yard if it doesn't happen if it doesn't snow or rain it might rain on Tuesday today's Sunday but I'm gonna bring it up unhooked because I think I've done as much as I can do and once again this tractor is gonna be given away once we get to 100,000 subscribers and to enter to be able to win that all you got to do is subscribe so, what do you got to lose? This whole thing is actually pretty fun to drive. Got the wind in your hair. Worst thing about it is it shoots the exhaust right in your face the whole time. Uh, so, I'm gonna unhook the drag, hook back up to the fertilizer spreader because we're done with that. Dad's done greasing it and we'll put that away. And then we can grab that thing I was welding on earlier and bring it back to the pasture. Hey, a little bit more. Driving through, I thought I saw a pigeon in our Quonset out back, and they uh, have been pissing me off lately because they always fly into our big machine shed and uh, poop on our machinery. And I remember last summer I I just washed, power washed the four wheel drive off, and then like a week and a half later when we had to use it, it was covered in bird crap. And so I've been them and rats, pigeons and rats. I just got no sympathy for them. So we're gonna see if we can't get a couple. Well, I suck. Right out the cornfield where all of our, where the majority of our cows are at, and we're coming out here because well, there's one calf that we know about here that 
we just want to we didn't see this morning when we were feeding we want to make sure that it's doing good also either there's a big pile of poo somewhere or there's a, another calf that we gotta give tags and uh, give it a shot also when we were feeding out here this morning dad almost got stuck with the feed wagon tractor so we gotta move these bunks to another spot that isn't tore up yet up here today all we got left really is we're well we're gonna chase up these two pairs that are in our white building out east because tomorrow in the morning it's gonna be a little colder and we'll be able to move some cattle around and we're gonna take four pairs these four pairs so the two in this building plus the two that are over there over to the uh, uh, horseshoe we're gonna take those over to the horseshoe and that will fill that one It'll be 19, 19. So we'll, then we'll get one more out there and then we'll be going to the pasture where we grab that bale feeder at today. Full place. Yeah. So we're going to go grab those, bring them up. And I think, personally, I think one of the cows is a little mean, but it doesn't face dad because, I don't know, he's a, he's a badass, I guess. So we're going to chase him up now. Just like that. Yep. Come on. Yep. Thanks. Don't move. <laughs> Come on, babies. There you go. These calves were hanging out with a different group of cattle. We don't want them with the other calves. Just, you know, disease and whatnot. And they got windbreak and they'll just be hanging out there tonight. And then tomorrow we'll bring them over to the other pen. What's the matter? Well, now I got two problems. My stick broke and I lost my hoop. A lot of cute babies. We got all the girls into the buildings, the barn on the white building, and it's actually gonna get a little freezing tonight. So it's pretty important for them to be in so them calves don't get chilled if anyone has a calf. Um, next video, seems like we'll be cleaning the buildings because they're getting dirty. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Go on in, let's go.